New school year, new expenses. Parents are shelling out more cash this 2023 uh, year to send their kids back to school. To, now, according to a new retail me not survey, the average American household will spend nearly $1,500 on back to school supplies, electronics, and clothes. And joining us now to talk about why your spending is so much higher, Garo Ellis with Money Wise this morning. Garo, thanks for coming in. Uh, you, do you have kids? I do. You do? Three girls. Wow. So I girls are more expensive girls, than boys. My dogs are girls. My grandkids were all girls. I finally had a couple boys uh, for the grand, grand for the grandchildren. So, yeah. <laughs> so you ain't got grandchildren, so it's yeah. even more expensive on that yes, on that sir. avenue. So as we go back to school, I, I want to bring this up. And I want to get back to the school thing here in a second, but the the U.S. Uh, credit rating this plays in, in line with all of this inflation just dropped from a triple A score. Uh, to a double A plus, mm -hmm. the Fitch rating that they, they just dropped that. Yep. Now uh, that hasn't happened since 1986 or 85. Correct. Um, yeah, around that time. Period. All right. So, yeah. what does that mean for the U.S. dollar? Because mm -hmm. that would affect inflation, right? Yeah. You know, it was kind of a shot over the bow um, for the government, and uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not concerned about it. It okay. went from triple A plus to Double A, I'm sorry, triple A to double A plus, which mm -hmm. is a great rating. <laughs> um, it's just not the best rating you can ever have because the, the best invest investment you can make is a government bond. And when you buy into a government bond, you expect that you get your money back. When you loan some money, somebody money, you want your money back. That's a credit rating, right? right. And I am not concerned about that. If I, and, and matter of fact, Warren Buffett says, he goes, I'm going to be buying government bonds when they come out uh, on the issue this weekend. Uh, on Friday or whatever. Um, so I'm not concerned about the rating, but I, I like the fact that Fitch shot, a, again, a, something over the bow to say, hey, we need better governance. You need to sh uh, wake up. Yeah. I mean, even the, some of the representatives from Fitch, they mm -hmm. talked about even the January 6th resurrection. Oh, they say, hey, right. we need better governance. And we do. We and, do. And if uh, and so it was just say, hey, wait, it's a wake-up call. Say, hey, get your... Get your act together. Act together, yeah. So then I lead this then to parents. Then uh, get your act together. Not saying that parents aren't getting it together, yeah. but they have to spend wisely for their kids going back to yeah. school. Uh, not just uh, school supplies have gone up, but you have food. Uh, so as a parent yourself, who's gone through that, mm -hmm. uh, what does it look like? How, how how should we be spending wisely? It's big. I mean, every single year we have, we have inflation, but inflation this year is. Large, more than ever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you you talked about fifteen hundred dollars per household, and I was reading the other day where it could be eight hundred fifty dollars per child. Wow. And uh, and we're spending forty two billion dollars on back to school this year. So the National Feder uh, Retail Federation mm -hmm. came out, like you probably looked at, yeah. And uh, they they were talking about forty two billion for uh, sixth grade through twelfth uh, grade. And then even college is going to be upwards of $60 well, billion. Dollars. And let me bring that up about college for just a second because uh, student loans are now will have to be starting to pay here mm -hmm. uh, very soon for uh, folks that weren't doing that. Yeah. Um, how do you invest? How does somebody, you, you deal with investment, how does yeah. somebody invest into the future financially? Well, you, you can have a 529 plan. And I urge everybody to even put, you can put $25 a month away, $50 a month away. If you put more, great. Put it away into a 529 plan. Because when you put, invest into a 529 plan for the child, mm -hmm. um, that grows tax deferred and tax free if you spend it for college. Wow. Yeah. It's like, it's, uh, it's like a Roth for college. So again, you put $25 a month away, $50 a month, and eventually you can dump money into Christmas. Money uh, can come in and go to yeah. a 529 plan. Um, and uh, that's, that, that's the best way to save for any college education. All right, parents, you've heard it. Uh, maybe that's the right direction for you. Now, I'll tell you, uh, Garo Ellis with MoneyWise, if people want to contact you, how do they, how do, they do that? MoneyWise, uh, MoneyWiseGuys.com, um, and all the information's on there. All right, Garo Ellis, thank Thanks, you very brother. much. Uh, 